YouTube, meet JM. JM, meet YouTube. Let's go meet up, some smallmouth bass. Welcome back to another episode. Um, I'm out with my buddy JM, who's behind the camera right now. We just made it out to St. Clair. We're literally just getting out of um, the boat launch right now, getting out on the main lake. It looks like a beautiful day. It is March 28 today. It's 10 o'clock. We ran into a little bit of traffic on our way over. There was some construction, then there was a crash that ended up uh, shutting down the entire highway, so that was lovely. But we're hoping um, that this consistent weather that we've had for two or three days with some nice sun has kind of warmed up this water and got these fish going. Um, I'm expecting water temps to be right around 39, 40 degrees. It's still going to be really chilly, and I don't expect to see many boats out here at all just because it's really early yet, last weekend of March, and we've had a cold spring. So very limited wind. We got like four to five mile an hour um, out of the northwest, and it's going to be about 48 degrees. It's like 45 right now. I have not chased small mouth um, on the open water yet this year uh, yeah so without further ado let's get after it we're gonna go run over check a couple spots graph them out and then start fishing first spot it looks pretty awesome the only thing that's a little concerning is clarity is not great that we had it's not terrible but it's not quite as good as it normally is um, we had a little bit of rain this weekend but yeah we're gonna creep up to this spot it's about 10 to 15 feet um, down on this side part and then up towards the seawall it kind of comes up to I don't know six to eight feet so uh, we're gonna start off with this little guy right here cute little mega bass dark sleeper half ounce wagasaki color on a 7.4 medium heavy uh, six cents sensory rod with I think that's got 14 or 16 pound test on it so we're gonna creep up here and kind of fish our way up because I think that some of these fish um, and this cold water could be sitting out a little bit deeper than normal. Normally in April, they get up on this um, top side around that seawall pretty well. But right now we're going to kind of ease up there. Like I said, 11 feet of water right now. Just going to cruise around, try to cover some water um, and start to piece together what these fish are doing. Water temp is going to be, looks like it's going to drop down to maybe 40 or 41 once that settles in there. So give you guys an update as we figure things out. All right, new spot. There we go, I'm on. Yes. Dude, he came right off that boulder I marked. First cast at it, grabbed the net. I really hope it's a fish. It's not moving at all. Okay, yeah. Not a giant. Not a bad one though. Let's go, baby. Oh, he's a little guy. Right off that boulder. Booyah! First open water bass of the year. March 20 something. A little six cents blade. Oh, she's a cold one. So I'll explain what we were just doing. We finally took some time to slow down and graph um, this little area out. Moved out a little bit deeper, found some more clear water, started throwing on side scan for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes as we ate lunch. And uh, we're looking for isolated boulders. So right here when it flashes back. So that's the isolated boulder that I just cast to kind of hard to see right there but there's like one or two of those i was just uh marked them on side scan flip back around you can see our track here bombed that blade bit right up to that boulder and he came pretty much right off of it hopefully he's got some friends first one of the year let's go this Oh, look at Smallmouth just followed it yeah. to the boat. <gasps> I was just saying this spot looks fishy. Wait, why did that Smallmouth come up to the boat? I've never seen a Smallmouth act like that in 40 degree weather. Like the water is literally 40.2 degrees. That was like a summer Smallmouth. I don't know why he didn't get it. On? Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Nice, dude. Yup. Yup. I wonder if that's the one that just chased mine. What'd you catch it on? Show the camera that sleeper. <laughs> oh, Aaron Hernandez. How far out was he? 
He was literally right here by the boat. I, I think it was the same one, dude. Because that one followed me right to the boat, and then he was right underneath it. And then you got bet right around the boat. Yeah, that's probably a two side. I was going to say, I bet it's just under three. Yeah, 304. Nicely done. Nicely done. JM just went 306. I really wonder if that was the same exact one that followed me up. Oh, look at 60 out. Oh, yeah. We're gonna catch at least another bass. Dude, giant, get the net. Giant. I don't. I think I snagged something. Or is it just a giant smallmouth? Get him. Let's go! On cue, baby. Did you hear me say that? <laughs> Okay, spotlight. Oh, <laughs> dang. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, give you guys a little bit of sunny angle. That's why we drove all the way out here this morning. Big old brown one. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. It's going back down. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Oh, giant, 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 giant. I don't know if he got it in the mouth. It's giant though, <laughs> like four or five. Get him the, sec the second you can, cause he's not hooked good at all. He got it in like the corner of the mouth, like corner of the head almost. Get him, you just, oh. That's all right. Not a tournament, you're good. Yeah, that sucks. You you just went short of them and then it literally, like, as unlucky as it is, it caught the, the hook and pulled it out. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're dude. right, that's okay. That was probably heavy four. I don't think he was quite five, do you? Yeah, I mean, that was a big fish. It was right, big. I guess keep poking around with Blake. There we go. I had to double clutch on that hook set. I have no idea how big. Feels not small. Not big. Oh, nice. You can spear that one if you want. <laughs> get him up here. I actually want to get a picture with him. Dang it, that's about the size of the last one. Oh, a lot of <laughs> Man, that's a weird looking St. Clair Smalley. Oh. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of a cool looking fish. See a hoss? Almost the exact same color and build as a smallmouth. Alright guys, so real quick I want to talk to you about this little guy. This is the six cents uh, blade bait, which is called the Slice. This is in the 2.5 inch size. Um, this is just more of a reaction bait in my opinion. I like it when the water's super, super cold, first ice out um, in times like this. So we've been kind of alternating between a dark sleeper and a blade bait. We've just been cruising around in like 10, 11 feet, um, kind of fishing up and down some contours. There's a little bit of riprap and some boulders and chunk rock in here, which obviously fish love this time of year. Um, when the water temp is barely 40 degrees, so. There we go. Giant. On the sleeper, I think. I don't know. He's coming in quick. He's probably not that big. He felt huge when he... Oh, it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Nice. He's long. Long and skinny. So I guess we're sleeping. Dude. That's a, oh, that's a heavy, heavy four. Four or five? Yeah. No, I, that, 
I was looking at that. That might be a bite. He might. I don't think he's going to quite be there. Look how long the yes. fish is. Good call, man. So we we actually started on the spot, guys. You can see it's just like it's a giant boulder slash riprap. And we started here, didn't get a single bite. I was just like, you know, let's just come back here. It's probably warmed up a couple degrees. Um, hit it at the end of the day. We're just kind of making a little last minute milk run of all the spots that we liked the most today, even though we didn't catch a single fish off of it. And glad we made that. Uh, Glad we made that call. He destroyed that sleeper. I'm guessing he's probably like a heavy four. I don't think he's quite at five, but beautiful, beautiful fish. Four, four, five. Down she goes. Maybe 200 feet up. Saw something flash. Yeah. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a tank. I almost hit you in the face. Ah, uh, he's not huge. He just bit it like a giant. He's a little one. Not fighting like he's little. No, he's he's maybe four. Look at where that sleeper is, dude. Oh my God. She go! That's probably a heavy, heavy three. Literally, like you guys just watched the whole thing, flipped around, found these two boulders, made a cast, and that was my first cast. Thumped it. That's right. Three, nine, two. Almost four on this one. He's not even long, he's just yeah, chunky. He's short. Oh, my hands are hardly working, it's so cold. Oh, sorry, scale it. All right. 392 on that guy. See you later, buddy.